Hi students, let's welcome Dr. Don Lucas, Superintendent of the Bronx County Special Services School District. Uh, Dr. Lucas, can you give us a little bit about your background? Yes, um, I've been in Burlington County for, this is 37 years. Uh, as a teacher, I was coach, counselor, principal, assistant principal, and superintendent in the Mount Holly schools for 13 years, and I've been superintendent here at Special Services since 2001. That's going on nine years. Brown County Special Services School District uh, has a 30-year history uh, servicing special needs students in Burlington County. Um, it's uh, from preschool to high school. We have uh, five campuses. Um, our programs uh, are structured that we focus obviously on the academic needs of our students, but the uniqueness of special services is that we work very hard, very hard with our handicapped students, giving them life skills and vocational training so they can be productive citizens once they graduate from special services. We have five programs. We have a preschool handicap program obviously for students who have identified early on as having educational or, or behavioral needs. Uh, we have an, a multiple uh, disabled program. We have a behavioral program. Um, we also have um, an autistic program which is something that's become a real uh, issue with our population, autistic students, and of course we service our severely cognitive students, which are students that are very severely handicapped, either medically or emotionally. We have five campuses. Uh, we also service the juvenile detention center, students who are uh, involved in the judicial system uh, um, um, are entitled to an education. We service that. We have a campus out in, on, in Lumberton on Arc Road. Uh, we have a junior, senior high school and three campuses in the main body uh, which we're in today. We don't receive any state aid uh, and uh, zero federal money. All of our revenue to operate uh, uh, the uh, programs for our 900 students comes from the regular school districts that send us, there's a tuition, and the county, because this is a county facility, uh, funds about 12% uh, of our budget and we've been um, pretty much flat funded from the county uh, going into the 0-10-11 school year with the current budget that you all are reviewing. Uh, uh, we've been frozen uh, at $4.8 million for the past four years. As our programs change and the students' needs change, um, we build our budget based on our anticipated population. Uh, I can say our, our tuition probably has gone up somewhere around 5% of, of the total cost a year. The districts have an option where to send their child. They can keep them at their, regular, at, their, at their home district and try to provide a program. They can send them to us or they could send them to a private school. If they choose us, we're probably somewhere between ten dollars and $15,000 per student cheaper than a private school. But that's a decision that the local school district than the parent make before we get involved. Dr. Lucas, would you like to take us around the campus and show us some of these great programs you have here? Sure. Our academic classes would, would mimic what you would find in a regular school district where you, where you attend school. What I'd like to show you are some of the things that help our handicapped children adapt to life skills and things that they wouldn't get at home to prepare them for, as being young adults. So let's take a little tour. We, uh, we have special services, uh, as Dr. Lucas had uh, mentioned earlier, of course we focus on academics, but uh, the needs of our students are vast and this is where the uniqueness of our district comes in. Uh, we are now in the uh, therapy room area for our high school students. Uh, over here we have um, one of our students, this is uh, Ricky and, uh, and uh, Ms. Stepp and working at OT. This is how we have modified our computers for students who have limited use uh, with their uh, fine motor to uh, manipulate the computer so they can do all the work that the, uh, a student of a regular caliber, caliber could do. This is Tommy and he's doing, he's working on Braille. Tommy's legally blind and um, his teacher is his therapist, this is his therapist. They're working on um, him printing and uh, being able to read Braille. This is our physical right. therapy okay. area. Four. This is Mr. Lovett, and Hello. he's working with a student to try and to... Dave, we're trying to we're trying to build up his it. endurance for when he's standing, when he needs to transfer on and off of toilets and out of the chair and all those good places that he needs to go. The phenomenal, we have phenomenal wheelchairs and such, uh, but uh, they still need all our students. We feel very strongly that they need to come out of their wheelchairs 
uh, often and uh, work on their uh, skills. This is only our high school area. Okay. Each uh, each school has a therapist. We have 75 therapists here at the school. They would be uh, speech, PT, OT, and uh, counselors uh, for each. So uh, total, we have 75 uh, uh, therapists. And in each campus, you'll see things like this going on in each school. Again, uh, one of our unique uses here at Special Services is we have a variety of, of uh, vocational experiences for the students. This is one of uh, four or five uh, food service areas that we have. This is uh, more of a beginner's food service. We have a food service where we run a cafeteria in the Human Services building. And our other students in each campus all have a, a culinary arts or food service uh, as one of their shops. We, ha uh, we also, the district also has uh, business office shops, industrial art shops, production shops, which uh, this is one, one of, of them. Uh, we also have uh, nail technology. We have, again, the foods. Uh, automotive. We have uh, auto detailing. But this is our production shop. And these are some of our high school students who are in our production shop. And I'll t let Mr. McHugh take it from here. My name is Al McHugh. This is production shop one. Uh, we do an assortment of activities in here. We do basic woodworking, as you can see what the kids are working on now. We do sorting and packaging activities that Michael's working on. We have a lot of fun in here. We have a, a, a full, wonderful size uh, swimming pool where many of our uh, the county high school uh, teams come in here to practice either early in the morning or after school. But uh, we utilize it for our students for for act for swimming lessons and for therapeutic reasons also. All of our students have an opportunity to use the pool uh, weekly. And uh, as you can see, this group's. Uh, Pretty good if you can catch one flipping. <laughs> These are our preschoolers getting ready to swim. Hello, everybody, wave. Hey, wave. Yeah. This is uh, Mr. Demara. This is one of our um, three graphic art shops that we have in, that we run in the district. Again, this is our uh, some of our high school students of uh, various uh, levels of uh, participation. Uh, the graphic art shop. Okay. <laughs> what we do is a little of everything as far as things dealing with printing. Uh, a lot comes from our computer digital area here where the students compose things to either be put onto t-shirts and or um, other areas where we have the uh, computerized digital duplicator where they print and work on different various items. But these are banners that we reproduce from originals that we print out on the computer. Okay. And this this Friday we're having a reunion dance of our graduates and this is one of the banners that'll be hanging up in the gymnasium for the uh, reunion dance.